thanks a lot everybody for attending this session. I'll be uh, presenting uh, for Informatica together with my colleague Hassan from the Middle East. Uh, and my name is Remy van der Klei. I'm a solution architect uh, for Informatica, working out of the Benelux and Nordic regions. Um, and I'll do a quick introduction of um, how we help customers get or operators get ready for an OSU implementation and how we can support you along that, uh, that journey. Um, for the people who don't know Informatica, uh, we're a data management software technology vendor focusing on addressing these common challenges that we see our customers uh, have. is discovering data they need, making it available where it needs to be, for example, OSDU, um, and making sure it's usable and findable. And then kind of managing that, that, that entire landscape of, of applications, including OSDU. Because if you do look at an implementation of a, a platform like OSDU, quite often the initial expectation is that we're going to move our data and our processes from our legacy applications, the, the recalls and the open works of the world into OSDU and then start working from there. And initially that is indeed a very common task to address. Um, it does come with a number of challenges because you have a few decades of history in those legacy systems and as you start moving these into OSDU, you would like to address any data quality issues. Because you know, we all know that not all these systems have been uh, maintained as well over time as, uh, as they might have, should have been. Uh, so it might be data quality issues, inconsistencies, duplicates of data. And ideally you want to start OSDU with a kind of as, as cleanly as possible. So initially you'll have to address those data quality challenges. However, as you go along, you realize that those legacy systems are not going away. You might be moving some of the process, but it's going to be a gradual um, um, program that move everything basically in a big bang. It's just too much impact, which means that some data, most often your kind of key data items like, like wells and well bores, will need to be synchronized back to those legacy systems to make sure they are consistent with OSDU. Um, Doing that, you can, of course, synchronize back and integrate these um, back to those legacy systems. That challenge tends to become bigger as the number of legacy applications increases. Um, working with a few operators, talking with them, they might have 30 odd instances of open works that either do hopefully separate uh, sets of wells, but not necessarily. So keeping those all in sync is, is quite often quickly becoming a challenge of how to handle the changes that happen on the left and on the right side. Uh, who wins? Uh, what is the actual the right value to use? How can we make sure we don't have any duplicates? And how can we make sure we don't end up in a, a massive spaghetti of, of integrations and, and, and ETL processes that try to keep this all in sync and working? Because there's a big risk of entering the world of yeah, spaghetti integration and inducing well technical depth. And this is a multi-year program a journey like OSDU. So managing this properly is really important to make sure you don't get stuck somewhere halfway along the journey. So what we often see is that besides the typical data integration and data quality uh, functionality that you need to integrate these systems, um, we see there's a need for some kind of broker in the middle, a system that manages the changes coming from the left and the right to make sure that you have this kind of single consistent view of those key data elements. So you know where they're be, where they're being managed. You can understand the differences between systems, and detect any data quality issues, and fix them at a at a good kind of single point. And over time, allow a kind of gradual decommissioning of legacy systems, or maybe move them from a a kind of master system into more a slave where they are simply receiving data from OSDU and not necessarily being used to manage the actual key elements anymore. So we see that there's, there's quite a lot of, of data management aspects to implementing a platform like OSDU. It's from integrating data, it's from understanding and with quality, managing the references between systems, translating values and structures, um, and keeping that whole view of your key master data elements. And these are the aspects we're trying to help operators with, with our technology. I'll hand over to my colleague Hassan, who'll do a quick presentation of how we fit into the OSU uh, platform architecture. And if we have time as well, do a quick demo of how it can look like in, in real life. So, Hassan, you want to take over the sharing? You want me to 
move to the next slide. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be sharing. So can you hear my voice? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, very good. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, I can see your screen, Hassan. Very good. Thank you very much, Remy, and thanks to uh, the attendees. So maybe reflecting on many of the pointers that was uh, discussed by Remy, when we look at the uh, the platform journey, the OSDU platform journey, it is one that came in in order to tackle mul multiple different aspects in terms of liberating the data across the landscape. And those are ones that included the activities that uh, talks to governance, ingestion, the ability to enrich the data, uh, to furnish a strong foundation for uh, analytical as well as operational uh, streamlined insights uh, within the business itself. So when we look at the uh, Informatica platform and uh, how we are coming in order to catalyze this very life cycle, the platform itself is one that uh, comes into the picture in order to boost the productivity of all of these different tasks that we are uh, seeing, uh, which could potentially furnish a strong foundation to a better adoption, as well as uh, to a great extent, the ability of lifting the, uh, the gates into reusing or realizing the value out of the data. And this is one of the things that uh, we've been seeing that comes to be very visible in the form of our not just ma uh, data management components, uh, but also the governance solutions that gets to be brought into the picture, maybe on a technical level or even business perspective. Uh, there is always a lot of different processes and policies that we, we get to witness throughout the life cycle, which needs to be doc documented very well for the purpose of making sure that understanding is streamlined across the landscape and understood by all of the different business users. But uh, the very aspect of the quality issues also gets to be uh, a great pain point. And this is something that we've been seeing uh, across many of the different customers that we've worked with, with a special case around how do we cater for master data uh, synchronization across the landscape. So what the master data management or the 360 engagement solutions are gonna come in, just like uh, Remy had explained, it's gonna come into the picture in order to sit in the middle of uh, the end-to-end -end landscape to open up and the enterprise readiness of making use this uh, of this data not just to serve the osdu uh, platform but to potentially catalyze the use of the insights that is hosted within the osdu platform across the other enterprise applications may those be erp applications asset management applications so on and so forth which is going to lead us uh, towards potentially a very short demo of uh, how a well master uh, would come into the picture in order to uh, deliver this type of value and synchronization across the landscape. So if we look at the interface of the uh, master data management application, it is one that is very well designed for the purpose of uh, delivering both the business as well as the engineering insights across the uh, the master records. In this case, we are looking at the example of a uh, well with the master data attributes that defines this very well across the uh, different touch points. May those touch points be source and target touch points that the OSDU platform will be using. But you can see that uh, these are some of the information that gets to be synchronized across the landscape. Uh, making sure that the consistency and uh, the ability to remove the duplication of the data, may those data be uh, coming in the form of these attributes that we're seeing, or potentially some of the engineering insights, as well as the hierarchies uh, that relates to the well itself that impacts to a great extent many of the different business processes that we're seeing. 
This is also one of the things that uh, gets to also be delivered by the solution in the form of delivering an end-to-end -end 360 degree view of the different relationships and the hierarchies that a particular well would have. Uh, so we can see that all of which are things that can be expanded in order to enrich many of the activities that will be undertaken by potentially the machine learning uh, AI uh, components, but it's not just restricted to analytics. It is also delivered or uh, coming to deliver more of an enterprise ready uh, information around the master data assets. And this is uh, one of the things that uh, we've been seeing comes to be very useful, especially when we are dealing with potentially the equipment and the materials that gets to be reused on within the context of the wells, well them, wells themselves, impacting potentially some of the supply chain business processes and the predictive asset maintenance use cases that uh, many of the organizations were pursuing. So as you can see, this is uh, really an example of how the Informatica platform is coming into the picture uh, to deliver a consensus around the master data by the time uh, these data uh, assets have been integrated and uh, come through the uh, life cycle of delivering a better consistency around the standardizations, making room for the aspect of catering and minimizing the implementation risk uh, across the uh, technical landscape with definitely the ability to support an enterprise level use of the information across the uh, different technologies. So this is really one of the things that Informatica has been very well known with, given our uh, quite agnostic approach towards how we integrate with the different technologies uh, within the upstream business which significantly catalyzes the use and the adoption of uh, the OSDU platform and potentially some of the other solutions that many of our colleagues here on the call uh, would be coming in to support. So uh, I would love to leave some room potentially for uh, questions to be uh, triggered over the chat. So uh, I'm gonna thank you very much for the uh, attention and the intent listening that uh, no, we've been no, no. having from no, the rest of the no, no. community. So no, no. thank you very much. These are my, our details. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, the email, the Twitter handle, as well as the LinkedIn profile. The same case, we've got the same for uh, Remy. So if you've got any questions, maybe now or at a later stages, we'd definitely be more than happy to uh, engage with all of you. Thank you very much.